In this video, I'll run you through five free ways to remove backgrounds from your images, three free websites, and two programs you can install on your own computer. Let's get started. To show the various background removers in action, I got this great coffee photo from Unsplash and we'll run it through all the gamuts to show you how well they all work. So first up is erase.bg. So that's a website, erase.bg. And very simply, you'll just upload the photo directly to the website, no login, no anything else. And it will just quite accurately remove the background for you. As you can see here, a fairly nice line across the this entire coffee cup only takes a couple of seconds. I've pre-done it to save a little bit of time for the video. And then you can download the full scale size. Really nice, very simple. There's no signups, there's no limits, there's no other issues that come with using this website, making it very nice, very simple. Erase.bg. Next up, what was great in the previous version of, my, of a video I had for a way to remove background video, I had included Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark has since become Adobe Express. And thankfully it's actually still a free product. And in this instance, I've found the URL that allows you to kind of fast track to using the background image remove tool. So express.adobe.com slash tools slash remove dash background. I'll include this in the notes in the video. Uh, two things to note, again, it's better if you go directly to this URL, otherwise you have to use the full interface. And it is a really great Canva competitor. I'll likely make an entire other video. I uh, do leave a comment if you'd like to see that. Um, but to note, you do need to sign up for a free account. It is entirely free and then everything else works. No problems there. Go to this URL, upload your photo. And again, another great job from Adobe. It seems to be based on their Adobe Photoshop technology. So quite reliable, quite fast, very impressive. So that's from Adobe Express. Next up from the good folks at Icons 8, uh, they have BG Remover. So icons8.com slash BG Remover. And much like all the other ones, it's a simple manner of uploading your photo and then downloading the results. Much like Adobe Express, you are going to have to sign up for a free account on this one. Um, you're allowed three free downloads until you sign up. And after you sign up, there's no issue. You can just download it. So icons8.com slash BG Remover, another excellent site for great fast results on removing the background of a photo. Now, all of these are online websites. So if you want to work these into your workflow, you are relying on these things remaining free and remaining online. Much like Adobe Spark on my previous video, it changed, it wasn't around anymore. So the next two options are actually free pieces of software that you can download and use on your computer instead. So once downloaded, it's on your computer, it's your own to have, you're not gonna have to rely on a website staying up to use it. So the first one are actually right from these same folks at Icons 8, and it is called Lunacy. Now this is an entirely free piece of software. It's really amazing. This, is, this design software is much in line with something like Figma or Adobe XD. It is a full scale design application. Again, this might be another one that I create a full video on. Uh, so, but don't let that intimidate you. The particular functionality you will use will just be for removing the background. So icons8.com slash lunacy, download it, it's for Mac or Windows. And then let's go over to that application itself. So inside of here, you'll just create a new board. Again, we're not gonna worry too much about a full demonstration of this. It is a bit intimidating and it's a full design software, but again, we're just gonna focus on the photo removal part. And as you can see, I've already pre-done it. All I did was to drag the photo from my desktop onto the screen here to have it ready to go. And then selecting it, you'll see here on the right side, you get some options for that photo and this nice button here, remove background. Clicking it results in this excellent looking photo and all of a sudden we have a PNG. From here, we'll be able to export or save it out to use it on any other application that we want. And again, this, this is just on my computer. It's an installed program, so I don't have to rely on a third-party website remaining up and online and free. So it gives you a bit of peace of mind, I think. So that's a lunacy doing an excellent job of removing the background of a photo. Once the background has been removed from the photo and you want to save it so you can use it somewhere else, select it. And over here on the right side, you'll come down to the very bottom here. It'll say export. So beside that, there's a little plus sign, click that. 
and you can see here what size and what type do you want to save it. PNG is a file type, an image file type that allows for transparency. So that's perfect. That works for us. And then we'll just hit export selected and you can choose where you want to save your PNG for use in Canva and then any other design application you like. Next up, we have another piece of software called Photoscape X. This is free. It does have a pro version, but for the purposes of removing a background, it the background remover is entirely free. Works very, very well. So all you do is when you first open it up, you might be see, you might see this first screen or some other one. You want to come over on this top bar of Photoscape X and come over to Cutout. So from Cutout, all you do is you'll drag your photo onto it and here it is. Again, this is a bit more advanced than the other ones, but it's also good in a way if you have a particularly difficult photo, this will give you some flexibility, some adjustments that you can make to try to get a better result. If perhaps some of the other ones aren't doing what you need it to. But in this case here, you'll go to the cutout from the top bar and over on the right side, we'll want to choose the magic eraser and all you really want to change is the tolerance. So tolerance being what you're going to do is click and in so doing, you will select a color. The program will find everything around it going up to an edge, an edge like a coffee cup for it would be part of the background and delete that color. Tolerance will be how, if I choose this brown, how much variation of that brown should I also remove? And it's just kind of give you a quick idea. If I bring it all the way down, you know, it's barely gonna select anything at all. If I increase it a little bit, you'll see it's trying to get a bit more of its neighbors, but let me go ahead and undo that just to give you a sense. If you're really in depth, like in between some hairs, like that, having a low tolerance might help you. But in this case, coming up on the white, it's fairly obvious. So let's go ahead and give a really high tolerance, give a click. And as you can see, it's done a fairly great job of removing all of the outside. A couple stragglers. So this is where, because it's a bit more of an advanced piece of software, you're gonna have to spend a bit more time with it. So in this case here, I'm kind of going through and click all the big patches. Um, there's some of these extra pieces here that you might want to consider using a different tool. So let me get rid of everything near the cup kind of quickly. As I mentioned, this is more advanced, you're gonna spend a bit more time, but everything else fails, this might go. And this is free, which is great. And then from the, let's say just the brush, which you can think kind of like the eraser, Let's go through and just kind of clean up the rest that were left over to make sure we have a nice empty job. I'm just gonna do it quickly here for the demonstration, but you could definitely take your time and get a really crisp version of it. And there you have it. And that is Photoscrape, entirely free, Windows and Mac. And next thing you know, you're able to remove the background of your photo. Once the photo is ready to go and you're ready to export the transparent version of your image. On the bottom right here, you're gonna see save. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And simply enough, it's a PNG that you can save out wherever you want and then use in your designs. So as you can see, it is an excellent time for content creators if you have to do remove backgrounds, do some designs, everything else. There are so many great resources out there and here are five that's gonna help you remove the background from any photo you want. Cheers to your great looking work.